Okay. Whew. Next up, what do we got? Motel. What? Air conditioned. Still like a very American feel. Ayo! It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a rundown motel! It looks pretty unsanitary, too! Ah, isn't that what a motel usually is like? It's just like Hajime's house! You're. <laughs> You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here! You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you! <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. Oh, like you? That's a bit harsh, don't you think? <laughs> but we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here, like, doing nothing? You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying, Praise a fool and you may make him useful. You didn't praise me. What's that supposed to mean? Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her raw attitude is this extreme, I can't really take this personally. It's Hyoko. Whatever, I give up. What in the world? There's only one wheel in the front. A rundown, rusted, and rotting car someone abandoned. <laughs> Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. Yeah. Take out the wheels, turn it into a boat. How about that? I haven't checked these in a while, so maybe they say something new now? Not really. Yep, the usual. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in a crime movie. Uh oh. If it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. Mm. Alright. I guess we don't get to go inside, huh? Hmm. Is that it? I haven't seen any Monokumas yet. I wonder if I missed any. Well, we can always go back later. Electric Avenue. Is this where we buy the electronic and technology stuff? Yes, it is. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. We could, but... Oh, hey, Chiaki. We could, but I don't imagine that anyone here has any expertise. Hello. Expertise on that. Or actually, I guess that's right up the mechanics alley, huh? Oh, it's cameras? What is this? There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Oh, I don't really recommend that section. Hmm, what do you mean? Is it like, porn? Well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there. It's like machines used for stuff like wiretapping and recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Huh? Ha, hey! Don't get it twisted! I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras. We're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonia? He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who'll eventually use them. 
And he has the know-how to use them too, so... Good or not good? Not sure. Television corner. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. It looks like they're not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. Ah. Huh. I would like to see how electrical things interact with this virtual world. Computers, laptops. Oh, those poor towers. Just left to die here. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're all a little old-fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know. If we can connect it to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. Well, I'm guessing you're probably not going to be the one to help with that, because you don't seem very tech-savvy, Hajime. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. Oh? I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'll be that easy. But just when I was about to give up... <gasps> my eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X file. What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some sort of report. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with the students of Hope's Peak Academy. The students of the reserve department dissatisfied with being treated differently. Huh. Nice parallel with the first one here, right? Finding information from a laptop. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. Oh, with some of the students of Hope's Peak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were... dissatisfied with being treated differently from the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Hey, this is information that we don't even know from one. Behind the scenes of the rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. Wow. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. Ooh, the data's getting corrupted. Hope's Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. Oh! Hey! That was one, right? It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond this point. But what is this? How normal! It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Oh, I'm sorry. Can we do this again? <clears throat> oh my god, what was that laptop we found? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? My, my, what makes you think that? Yeah, remember this island? Like, they have complete jurisdiction. So anything we see, we they want us to see it. So... Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. And Hope Speak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. Ah, key difference between Makoto and Hajime. Makoto is a lot more trusting and naive, right? So he would be like, oh my god, what the heck is this? But Hajime is more cynical. So he's like, whatever, this is all lies. 
And, and? What's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Me neither. Huh, really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. Uh, does that mean we are from the reserve department? What is the difference between a reserve department person and a primary department person? What do you mean? Huh. Huh. I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about students who survived. Is that... is it referring to us? Then the rest of that file is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a sec, you guys! Boy, oh. Just, what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense! Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words! These are things that truly don't make any sense! So you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense! Who cares about that? Just answer me! Who are the students who survived? Oh, I wouldn't know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute! Damn it! He ran away again! Uh... Hey, Hajime! Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. Monomi, now's a good time to come out and tell us. By the way... Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought this was a laptop. And I was just gonna say, that's not how computers work. <laughs> but it's okay, it's fine here. Parts corner. What kind of parts? There's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these look old. Do they even still work? Yeah, probably. Yeah, so this is like... This is like Kazuichi's home, man. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. Take one then, take one! Can we at least use it as a walkie-talkie? Oh? Teru Teru would have never used this old microwave. Aww. He would have probably used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile. But that's no longer... Oh man. Are we gonna have that kind of thing now? Things with no story significance, but they just, you know, they're just here to remind you of the past. That's not cool. What are you doing? Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the piles of electrical appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Old gaming consoles. Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. You don't just have a TV, you have an arcade machine, okay? If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Hmm. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. Yeah, understandable. Understandable. Huh? Are you serious? Ah! Are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so many machinery. Don't say stupid things! I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know? Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why... why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery lined up here. Ah oh, damn! I want to take them apart! I want to dismantle them and look inside! That's how I usually think, right? <laughs> but I know now is not the time for me to do something like that, and that's why I feel so conflicted. 
is wanting to dismantle normal? Oh, yeah, completely, completely and totally. For mechanic, especially. Huh? Hell yeah, it's like, if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? Uh, I can't, okay, I can't say that comparison is wrong. <laughs> and you want to check out her bone structure, okay. <laughs> and you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or where parts of her bones stick out, right? That's not normal, that's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. These kids are like 17, 16, 17? Seriously? Uh... I see, so wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much. Well, I mean, you know, everyone... Everyone has their thing! Not judging you! You can do whatever you want, as long as it's, uh, all consensual. Among all parties. Alright. Any place else? Movie theater, wild gunman Monokuma and his four friends. The Wizard of Monomi. Oh my, what? Oh my god, I want to see that! Look at Monokuma, little, little dress. And look at evil warlock Monomi. Aww! I want to watch this. Welcome! We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start! Showing? What does that mean? Are your eyes just for show? Look around, this is a movie theater, right? Then I'm obviously showing a movie! Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not gonna go watch your movie! Whatever it is, I'm never gonna go see it! My goodness! And here I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket! But I won't allow you to not watch it! I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie! Oh my god, Monokuma is so multi-talented. I'm honestly taken aback a little bit. Game dev, movie director, what can't you do? Ah, <sighs> dreamy sigh. <laughs> if you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad! I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. Hey, I like the game, okay? Not the contents, but I like the game. Yeah, yeah. That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. I believe you. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. Okay, forget about the movie. What I'm really wondering is, is that bag in the background for me? Is it a swag bag? Can I have it, please? On this island, my word is law! If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? Execute you? <laughs> There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it, but... I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? Oh? Is that it? Goods Corner! Oh wow! Food, drink, popcorn, tickets! Oh wow, how how inconspicuous! There we go! We may have missed one then, or maybe it's in that locked section of the hotel. Not hotel, hospital! Okay, so this is outside, this is inside... It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. Hey, what is this stuff? Like all the floaty cubes. It's like the virtual reality is crashing a little bit. It's a video game poster. Huh, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. I don't know, it depends on how much it is. It can't be more than Danganronpa 1 and 2, right? <laughs> There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monomi's face on it. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. 
it's a limited item. Only one person can have it. Oh, that's gonna come into play. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So, how about it? Wanna buy it? How much, how much does it cost? I'll pass. Hey, don't decide for me. I want it. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be upfront with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too upfront. Is this the sticker you were talking about? <laughs> oh my god, I feel like making that my avatar on Twitter or something. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is this? Hey, Hajime, you gotta lighten up a little bit, okay? There's always funny parts to every situation. To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering, miracle-working priest. And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars! 1.5 million dollars? Okay, so in other words, we have to go see the movie. Don't mess with me! I don't even have that kind of money! Who, who would? Who would? Would Fuyuhiko? His Yakuza family? Sonia! Then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. <laughs> Whoa, I'm surprised! As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything, even 1.5 million dollars. Wow, okay, my impression of Hajime just went way down, because obviously, no financial management skills. You're the first person to ever pay 1.5 million dollars for this sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad monokuma. But if I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever! No, no. Come on, take it, thief! And slap it on your forehead, thief! Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief! The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap-looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Oh, come on, Hajime. Now we don't get to watch the movie! Maybe I am a little crazy. Well then, looks like the showing is over! Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires! Questionnaires? At that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away toward the door leading into the theater. The door opened violently, and one person appeared from within. <laughs> ah, Nagito! Please answer my questionnaire! It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Um... Well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. I thought it was gonna be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Nagito is so depressed. The movie must have been bad, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Oh well, I... I... I want to watch it, man. <laughs> um... Well, Hajime, after Nagito's glowing review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Yeah, of course not! Oh, I want to watch it! <sighs> I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Well, you can have a consolation prize. You want my sticker? Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay 1.5 million dollars and not watch that movie... I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer! The movie must have been that bad, huh? Uh, well, I enjoy bad movies, so... <laughs> like, I, I enjoy stuff like Birdemic. Apparently, I can watch Monokuma's specially made move movie. 
However, I heard the content is just terrible. I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker, but it cost 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. Yes, you were. You can do a lot of things with 1.5 million dollars, you know? But that's... That's another thought for another day, because we're done here. Hajime, over here! Please hold on! Sonia, did something happen? Just now, I went to the hospital and... It appears Mikan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital! A very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. Are those movie titles? What are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It is Japan's legendary medical drama. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, hmm. I know one called White Tower. I know that one's really famous. But uh, other than that, I'm not sure if those are real. That Person in the Wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. It is about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry! We will be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor? I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Yeah. You're late, Hajime. It looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Hmm. There are patient rooms lining the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered at the room at the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> and Miss Sonia, as expected of the Ultimate Princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's gonna be such a touching scene, a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene? <laughs> Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous of me? <laughs> you don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress and you're even opening up to everyone. <laughs> that must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> but still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. <laughs> I don't like how sometimes the things that Nagito say are the same as what the player would think. Who knows, it's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. Actually, Hajime being in, uh, in the reserve department, would that have to do with his talent? Because it sucks? <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Because Hope's Peak pretty much determines admission by ultimate ability, right? So, reserve department equals your skills are not as good, but okay enough to be in the school? Oh wow. Oh wow. Whoa! Um. Okay. No questions asked. No questions. Oh. Four rooms and then the second floor. Okay. There must be a Monokuma thing around here, so let's look around a little more. Oh my goodness. Is that how Fuyuhiko was carried in? Except that person's probably dead. Oh my god. What the hell is this alien stuff? It's so scary! I'd rather see all Monokumas than aliens! Jeez! Okay. 
Probably the same. Oh, should have gone upstairs first. Whatever, we can do that later. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. なんだよ。幽霊でも見たような辛しやがってよ。くずりゅう、お前大丈夫なのか全然薬傷じゃないですけどね。まあ、姿が見られて安心したわい。くたばってんじゃねえかと心配しておったぞ。ふふ。これく
I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hyoko? It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. Well, I mean, you know, the Mahiru thing just happened, so... But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiru killed by Peko. And Hyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just gonna get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? He's still talking about it. What a pervert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suspicious! It's definitely suspicious! All we gotta do is follow them! You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Okay, we gotta go follow them, right? It's probably impossible, but are those two in, like, an intimate relationship? I an intimate relationship? That's not how a teenager would describe it. <laughs> but didn't you hear it? Hakane was pleading as she ran after Nekomaru. Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude. <laughs> okay. The more he talks about this, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. Uh, but following after them is scary too. If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face. Shh, if only I had more courage. Hey Kazuichi, those who don't run will never see the goal. Huh? Well, it's a quote from a manga I happened to see, and it just crossed my mind. What an inspiring quote! Huh? Hajime, my eyes are open now thanks to you. Alright, let's go run together! Aha, uh -huh, me too? Crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. Let's go! To our horizon! Okay, I think this is the special event for having one of the comic book items. Kazuichi was filled with a weird sort of energy as we left the hospital together. He was practically dragging me. Alright, our horizon is right here! Are you stupid? If you don't lower your voice, we're gonna get caught! <laughs> no problemo, they're already inside the cottage. Once they start getting into it, there's no way they'll be able to hear their surroundings. Ah, <sighs> I feel like Kazuichi is like dragging me into a lot of weird shit. Okay then, let's go my friend, let's run to our goal! I seriously should have kept my mouth shut, there's no way I'll be able to stop him. So how about it, Hajime? Do you see anything? No, but if we keep peeking like this for much longer, we might get caught soon. <sighs> what the? Was that Akana's voice just now? Boy, or... hey, 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 what the heck was that? That's a chick's voice, and it sounds hot! <laughs> Could it be? Are they really? Wow! She's even drooling! Oh! Can you have two ultimate skills? Hey, no fair. How come you're not sharing that with us? Just because we're not athletes? <laughs> uh... Hey, Hajime. Horizons are beautiful things that you keep chasing after, right? Probably? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> so, what exactly is a horizon anyway? 
you were using that word without knowing what it is? Yeah. Well, you know, it kind of sounds cool, right? Of all the words I know, that one sounded the coolest. Damn it. In the end, getting lugged around like this just made me even more tired. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual. Well, I guess that was that. <laughs> and fell into a deep, deep sleep.